Right, we're back. For arms and a bit of shoulders today. I've had a break of sweeteners for a week. So far. So, got my cyclic dextrin, got my creatine, because these two don't have any sweeteners in. I'm just, I'm just doing it because I had a bit of a funny stomach for a few days. Spoke to Stefan. He said have a break from uh, sweeteners. So it's a bit boring because it means I can't have my nice aminos that came yesterday. At least for a few more days. But once I figure out what's going on in my stomach, I'll be back on it. Because it could be something else. But I'm just doing a process of elimination in a minute. But it could just be being off season and being fat. Who knows? But yeah, we've got arms today. Just had a coffee. Because again, no sweeteners. He, had, he gets to have the good stuff. He's at the uh, pre-workout. Um, got loads of flavors of the crank currently. Um, that just came through. Yeah, I had a really big ESN order yesterday with some really nice bits in. There's a little video on my um, on my Instagram that shows you some of the stuff. So, loads of protein, uh, loads and loads and loads of rice pudding, loads of oats, uh, instant oats. The instant oats are really cool because they're not like they're not even like instant oats we have. It's, you know, like how ready break is, kind of like that. So, a bit like more like baby food. Yeah, like really soft. So it's good. A little bit more easy to digest. So we had a good day yesterday, good training session yesterday. We did a um, back, went pretty hard on that. Um, training's been good. It's been very good. Uh, do you like his t-shirt? It's all genetics. Just saying, bro. No hard work. No hard work at all, just genetics, baby. Um, but yeah, no, everything's good. We're just cracking along. Started watching the body, uh, Fuad and Stefan. Seen it. Yeah, I didn't watch yeah, it all, seen it. but I'm yeah. like a little bit it's away good. from it. His picks are good. Yeah, Steph Rand's just got like a really he good personality. His, he does his uh, top 10 picks, it is very good. I have to catch that. Hilarious. Yeah. It's so out of, uh, Whatever I won't else. spoil it for you. Okay, okay, okay. It's very left field. You wouldn't I'm going to check it out. But you, don't, you don't care. You I, uh, I love, like we were just watching earlier how, how Stefan comes across. Just cool guy, man. He's a cool guy. So I'm really looking forward to getting to compete. Get under shredded. his wing yeah man I really want to get shredded now as well fuck man but we've still got a while we've still got um, so what is it now it's October so you've got, you got two months minimum probably minimum the reason he's saying is that because I'm obviously going to try and apply for the Arnold again be in the Arnold, um, so. so if I've obviously got to get ready for the Arnold then my diet will start sooner no than Christmas dinner no Christmas dinner baby um, first place at the Arnold's better than oh, that'd be a dream that'd be a dream <laughs> If I'm one first place in Arnold, I'd, like literally, I'd be, I'd be in profit in my life. I'd be in profit. I'd have like a load of money spare. It'd be good. But hey, it's not about the money, man. It's about the legacy and the champion yeah. mentality. I'm trying to achieve something. Just leaving this world with something you felt that was worth fighting for. I suppose it sounds cheesy because a lot of people just look at bodybuilding like it means nothing. But everyone has their own goals, and at the end of the day. I'm not good at many things, but this is one thing I kind of put myself down and thoroughly into over the years, and it's gone further than I expected. So I don't know. Let's just keep just keep working and see what can be done. I think, I think more can be done. So you have to have that mentality. I was, uh, you know, when I was younger, it's very, I was very brash, very like, what's the word? Wouldn't say I was necessarily confident, but you know, I had a really strong barrier around me of I will make this happen. I don't even know if I believed that I could make it happen. I just I was just so fucking um, adamant that I have to make this work that I made it work. So I'm in the sessions training with Jordan and I'm trying to remind myself of that that past times and how I got here and why I am. Because it gets you do something for a long time and you kind of desensitize a little bit to why you're doing it and how. Um, and I don't know if I, I can only speak for myself I don't know if the other pros feel the same I think like the presence of like social media and just having being in gyms now and gyms are a totally different environment than they were when I was younger the, the essence of bodybuilding is very different so sometimes you just you like kind of feel unfamiliar with your territory so this is why I say like sometimes during training I try to like take myself back to a familiar time and a familiar feeling um, God I miss the days of being the only person that would get up at 4am go to the gym and do cardio and be that feel like you were the 1% like you used to really feel like you were that 1% and making a difference now everybody's on Instagram and it's the 1% 
So you're not alone now we're like 99% because the 1% is actually the lazy fuckers now. Might as well be lazy because you're more cool because you don't do nothing. But anyway, that's not me trying to just like rip apart, but just, I say this, I've gone over this in the past. Finding your like, your reasons to keep going. And mine are just simple really, I suppose. Just purely just to see what can be fucking done. Uh, it has to, it doesn't have to be any more complicated or, you know, it doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. Let's just see what can be fucking done. And I, and I find all the while I'm focusing on the goal like bodybuilding, See you later. I'm not thinking about all the little bullshit in between. You know, if, if you take me away from a bodybuilding setting mentally, I, I kid you not, I start thinking about when am I going to die? When am I going to get cancer? Because my mum obviously died of cancer, and all these fucking thoughts you have about life. When's my cat going to die? Like live, die too? What's going to happen to Yannick in the future if I'm not around? What the fuck? All these questions. That 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 kind of not being occupied is not a good place to be for some people and for me particularly it's not so I know that having my commitments with bodybuilding are a saving grace for me and yeah a lot of people watch this and be like you'll probably, probably get spammed in the comments people just say load of, load of shit but it's fine everyone's entitled to their opinion and it's not my business what people think of me I'm just here to say things that I say and just to be myself and document my life and what I'm up to and that's what this channel's for um, I feel good. Like saying what I've just said, I don't feel bad. I don't feel negative. But I don't take that as me feeling sad or anything. I don't. I feel good. I feel very positive. It, it, it confirms why you're doing what you do because it is the thing that makes you happy. Because if something stops you from thinking about bad things, it's the opposite. So that is happy, and that's why we keep doing what we're doing. Another camp's in the house as well. Sarah's just come in the door. Yeah, don't be filming her today because she'll make us look shit, right? Yeah. So, but um, yeah, a little waffle before training as always. Um, I'm playing a lot of Warzone lately. I'm trying to get this fucker on B-Lux Fortnite. But I'm on Warzone most evenings. So if you want to come and hang out, if you want to come and hang out, live stream, YouTube, we're just trying to slay some people. It's just a bit of gaming. It's a little break from the whole serious nature of bodybuilding. Full, come hang out. Got a full squad. Got come donate me. me. Come don't. Come don't. Come. Do they do a squad. Would be a better squad than that. Come donate me one million pounds. A little bit of nickel, a little nip slip on there or something. You know, just check a fiver. Little five. If you pay, listen. Fiver a thousand times over is a lot. Of I will. Uh, <laughs> I will wear the skimpiest. <laughs> I'll wear the skimpiest outfit. For donos, <laughs> but anyway, it goes topless if you donate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that it's saying that your way of relaxing is going on a game and shooting everybody, but it is my relaxation, and I do enjoy it, and it's good. It's social. I've got a few friends I play with, chat, chat shit. Um, you, I've got my meals ready. They're by me. I just sit and eat and chill out. I've actually been quite good at like sitting still lately, and not because of him. Because I'm, I'm normally, and I said to her yesterday, I, I normally go out a lot and like walk around and stuff, but. I'm, I'm actually focusing on like trying to rest a little bit more now. We'll see if it pays off. You're learning now. I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to learn. Rest days for rest. Yeah. Jordan's doing well, he's fucking looking humongous. Um, it's all genetics, as his t-shirt says. But no, I can really see it. We posed after training and we actually posed yesterday and Yannicka's like my second eyes and she's helpful. We did some like posing and looked at each other's posing. It's just all there, man. So I'm just interested to see where this goes because He's got it, man. He's got what he's got all the tools. So I think he can go. If there's me at the Olympia and there's him at the Olympia in our in our, in our allocated classes, I think he could get higher sooner. Just because I know he's got the tools. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Just very, if you want to know. Very kind of you guys. Just being honest, man. I ain't got to kiss ass. There's no need to kiss ass, man. This is just reality. And um, George, George's a hard worker. You know, you know what I would say. I was on um... Testing. Testing. <laughs> <laughs> the progress that I've made, I've said it before, but the progress that I've made over the last three, four months, and obviously since me and James linked up, not only just training, but the friendship that we forged. Obviously, when you spend a lot of time when with somebody, forged in you, iron. Know, you know, forged in Iron Brothers. Um, but it's true, when you spend that much time with an individual, obviously, you get to know them very well. We, we think very similarly. Um, we have the same interests, and it's just a perfect match in that sense. Um, but my physique and my training is in the best place that it's ever been. My mindset's in the best place I've ever been. I've had some wobbles, I'm, I'm only human. Um, sure. Self-doubt gets the best of every individual, even if you are oh, the greatest athlete. Well, yeah. Yeah, even if you're the greatest athlete, it's a normal thing to have. You are gonna get those moments. Like, am I doing good? Am I good at this? Do you know what I mean? And Jay's there all the time to support me. 
as a friend would, and I hope that like I can do the same for him. Um, and I believe that we're both be bringing our best when that time comes. I have no doubts about that. He's not done for sure. The best is yet to come. He won't. He doesn't see it, but his physique is changing dramatically. Not just the body weight, the composition, new roundness, new tissue, and it's going to be very exciting. I'm, I'm really excited to see him present the next kind of package on stage, and obviously. It's going to be a, a hell of an experience. So, uh, just creating memories and just doing things and doing what we love to do. Um, and couldn't ask for things to be better, you know. Big Liam behind the camera as well, representing all the time. You know, we got we got we got really 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 good people around us, and uh, truly blessed, obviously, to be where I'm at currently and around the people that I'm around. So, it's really good. It's really good. So on that note, I'm going for shit. <laughs> That's not the sound that's like. That's not, yeah, I'm going to go to work. That's just like a, uh, a waterfall. That's, that's after a curry. <laughs> and then we'll train. And we'll probably do a bit of waffle while we're training. But mostly today we'll just focus on the training. Um, I'm actually going to do a little bit of content for AMA today as well. So do make sure you go check out the IFBB AMA channel as well, where we have a lot of educational content. Uh, more like directional videos, things just to help you with that nature with your training and whatnot. Um, obviously got a real star-studded lineup of people on that particular channel. Um, who've got a lot of knowledge. I'm probably the least knowledgeable, but if you like me, go check it out um, and have fun because there's a lot of good stuff on there. So we'll see you in the gym in a few. The last Serious business. Let me listen out the last of the As soon as you come through, no, no fucking about now. All right, there you go. You're in gym mode now. No jokes, no jokes. Arms a bit wider, arms a bit wider. Yeah, there we go. You didn't know. Please do. Taekwondo. He's white belt though. Bruh, I was, I was a black stripe. He was only white belt. You're a hater. He was a white belt with a black stripe. I was, I was, I was a red belt with a black stripe. It's getting worse on my right arm every single time. How's it like today? Yeah, it's early. It's better than it was yesterday. Still like a tiny bit in there, but yeah. it's all right. Okay. It was hurting a lot, like once her blood was in there. Puts you off. So starting with a straight bar push down, bread and butter. You'll always see us start with this variation pretty much. I just feel like it's the number one mass building tricep exercise for me. The only thing I would say is that what you're doing when you're using this is you're using it like a dip. An ideal dip would look like this. So same on here. I keep the bar really close to the body. I let the elbows drive up and back, stretch the tricep, and then I just press right down rather than doing this. But a lot of people do this, which feels nice as well, but I feel like it prioritizes less of the tricep than this does. This gets like richy right up into the belly of it, around the back. So I think your best bet with training triceps is do both. So do a movement like this, and then potentially later you can do a movement like this. Or you can even do a superset. I'll be there in the dark. A lot of people like don't let this come high, but I like that stretch you get. Yeah. But I like getting like that. And now that's pulling. Boom. I'm gonna do that, and then what I'm gonna do today, I'm actually gonna go straight into this style a little bit. Today, so I'm gonna go like that, and then I'm gonna do a few reps like this as well. Okay. Get out. A little bit of both. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, I'm gonna need a little breathe in between on that. Ah, nice, come on. Good, come on. Good. Squeeze them. Mm. 150. If you wanna get that, if you just wanna get that quickly. <laughs> you think See, James, James was on 100, and I'm on 150, so just remember that. Cut away for a second now. Cut, cut away for a second now, Lee. No, no, that, that away from me. You don't wanna see this bit. Okay, cool, no stack, there's no stack there now. 
Yes. Good, Jay. Good. A few of these now. Good. Yes. Beautiful. That was 150, it was heavy. We've got only Arsenal and do a split cable now. Of sorts. What do you want to do? We'll do a little like one like that now. I normally do these kneeling because it's a little bit of a shorter stack. Oh. And again on here I like to kind of let it stretch quite high up. I don't mind my arm coming forward a little bit and then bringing it back and then down. So I kind of come up. It's like a fluid. Yeah. Oof, and I'm up. Pumping these triceps. Pumping that triceps is good. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah, of course. When I do it, yeah. I feel like it hits the tricep. Yeah, flex him on that, isn't it? How do you get it to hit my rear delts? Honestly, I would say. Because sometimes when I do my rear delts, my traps are really dominant, so I have to be careful <coughs> to get the track in. But I've been doing that, and now my triceps. Yeah, you're getting, getting pumped. I think the life fitness is better for the rear delts. Yeah. Yeah. And you could do a single arm. Okay. So drop the weight down a bit and just do yeah. single arm. You'll probably feel it a bit do more. Do you hit your arm straighter? Like that. Yeah, just slightly off. Slight bounce. And would you say it's more like a right angle? Further down, further up? I like, it, I like, I like it slightly higher. So just yeah. your arms higher than you yeah. hold it? At least level. Yeah. So level or above. Yeah? Yeah, perfect. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, see how you feel on that one? I'm doing it. Just trying to keep thinking. I think my triceps are really kicking in at yeah. the point. And I'm, my rear delts aren't very good. I think the, pro the reason the triceps are kicking a lot is when you're doing double hand, yeah. you're, you're pushing your chest in and then obviously you've got push quite hard back which makes encourages that whereas when you do single arm you can stabilize and you can keep the arm a little bit like that and just kind of do that okay. yeah and a bit more yeah you can come from that yeah. i think you'll feel better on that one okay, honestly try, try and let me know yeah. cool. it's your song bruv unless you say more more short head here than long head yeah, I would say so. Snap yeah, I would say when you're getting something that causes yeah. the fist to almost rotate as well. Yeah, it's gonna. It's weird because I don't know if it is the rotation of the forearm. Yeah. I feel like it's more. Is it a positioning thing or is it a rotation thing? Because I also feel like I feel like when your arms in front a little bit more in general, you get a little bit more outer. Yeah, and then when you whereas when your out, arms back behind you. But I think if you go from. However, you would be on the rope because yeah. you like twist the rope away. Yeah. See, that feels different here, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Because you kind of do this. You come from here and you kind of kick it out and twist the arm. You do feel like you get a little yeah, bit more, more like that. Yeah. on here. Again, I don't know how much you can bias a part of an arm. Some people got really freaky out of triceps. I see people do this with tight grip and get really freaky out of tricep. Uh, just one of them things, isn't it? Some people got sweepy out of quads, some people got really good out of triceps. I do think though, if you look at it from a principle like, think about legs, yeah? The people with the sweepiest quads I find, normally you have quite a narrow, narrow and low. So maybe for triceps even, if you try to keep it relatively narrower than you do, you might actually find you get a little bit more outer. So it could be a narrow, it could be a width thing. I, I find that most arm dominant people are more narrow. So, so I reckon if I was really trying to bias out a tricep right now, what I would actually do is this. I'd keep my hands quite close together and I'd do this. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll go like that. Yeah, that looks pretty wild. Yeah, because I don't feel that in my long head at all now. Where's that? I do. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, that's totally different. Mm. So really close hands, have your hands really close together, almost push them together actually, and then it will get the most rotation at the bottom. Mm. I'm looking at my arm in the mirror and I feel like I can see more it, it pump going into here. So yeah, so if you want to try and focus a little bit more perhaps on the outer tricep, force for a narrow grip <coughs> rather than a wider grip with the elbows back. So arms in front, narrow versus arms and back pushing down. So that's this portion here. You feel that a lot. It's like... Got a little noodle out. Uh, 
which is good in certain shots, obviously with bodybuilding. Um, if your arms are up like that, doing a relaxed, if you've got that out, I'd try to give you a nice silhouette. So that's good. Yeah, so now when you stand like that, Liam, I haven't got it a lot because my triceps aren't that good in that position, but if you see here, that shape there, that's outer tricep. So it gives you like shoulder to tricep cap. Obviously some people are really freaky can have their arms there and have it. But you, you want to have that kind of, okay? Whereas side on, what you see, obviously a lot of it's the rear head, which is going to be good in a, you know, like the side actual tricep pose. Or even the underhead's good in a overhead bicep pose. We, I, we did a video earlier for AMA, which we're talking about like working on lagging body parts. And one of the things I was talking about is focusing on breaking down a muscle group and training it pretty specifically. So if you want to check that out, AMA. Good. Come on, drive it. Yes. Come on, Jay. I'll do a little drop actually. And then I'll lock it. So when I'm doing the reps, I can see the veins here getting quite flushed. Two. Three. Four. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, good for a little drop. Yeah. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, nice. Fucking hell, man. So really now we should do an overhead. Do you want to do the single dumbbell? Because that's free today. Because remember we couldn't do it last time because of the, um, yeah, do it because the guy so was on the do that and then a dip. Yeah, maybe even not do a dip today, we'll see how I feel. The press down is so similar. I, I sometimes almost feel like, because we got Overdoing. chest in two days, that yeah. they're not, yeah. they're never fully recovered. We'll, we'll see how we feel after that one. Yeah, And okay. then, uh, play it from there. Fucking piss. Oh. Caffeine's got me. Caffeine's getting you now, bro. Uh-huh. A few inches later. Overhead skull crusher. Again, trying to uh, train the tricep in every kind of position. I'm not gonna lie, I think that's the best overhead thing that I've ever felt oh, good. for my tricep. Perfect, good. I'm gonna go two plate. I know you might not want to. I'll probably just stay around yeah, there, maybe cool. a five. Cool. We've got fives for you if you want to use them on the next one. I did used to like doing these a lot, I just haven't done them lately, I don't know why. But like I say, it's the closest thing to using an overhead press uh, tricep extension machine. How? The best shots in magazines when they hold things like that. Yeah. You know, they, they, they do that. And it's like the triceps are massive. They're like, just set <laughs> all day. <laughs> nice, yeah. Good. Squeeze them. Roll it Yep. Nice. Got it. Still doesn't feel heavy when you're in it, but huh? doesn't feel it feels heavy here. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't feel heavy here, but might have a little bit more on my next one. Got in there today. You're just showing off now. Yeah. Showing off. I wish. The mirrors make you look better, but hey. Alright. No, it looks good for real. Don't worry see about it. That. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Gotcha. I'll go up. <laughs> Man, that's so good. Nice. That's so good. That's one of those. Happy like, boy. What's the word? Epiphany. Yeah. That's like, Feels I like feel like that might be the, the thing to unlock some to unlock growth the next for me. Growth. So when mm. I've got 21 inch arms. It's because of this. It's because of this. All right, let me get another five. Can you be soft me, Every time. I'm it's actually, I'm in the zone regardless, bro, because I'm so <laughs> cool. This geezer needs Whoa. a little bit of push, doesn't he? These young, guns, <laughs> these young guns need a little bit of push. 
old boys like me just got it and we, I was listening to it but I was like I was, it was nice for once to be able to hear you like it's not that loud I was like listening to the training yeah, yeah. the training was my melody for the minute there arms are also arms I don't mind being a little bit more mellow because I know that I've got to focus a little bit more on what I'm doing can, like connectivity wise so I can, I can I can listen to that thrash but I'll probably blow my joints it's good for chest and back day <laughs> I don't mind, I'm, I'm hardcore, whatever the fuck you want to do, but... Um, Just built different. It's built different. I was fifth in the Arnold Classic, bro, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> was, it's funny, because I was streaming last night, and um, we lost the game, and I, I, I got killed by some dude, and I just, for shits and giggles, it's never ego. I was like, fucking hell, mate, don't you know who I am? I'm, like, I'm fifth in the Arnold. I was like, this can't happen. But it was, it was funny in the moment, but... Because it makes me laugh, because I, I say I was fifth in the Arnold, but... I laugh because the fact, because to me fifth is pretty shit. So it's like, it's a joke. It's kind of like, now fifth is good, but it's not that good that you can make a parody of it. It's like someone getting to the Olympic games and being like, uh, I don't know, I got fourth in I was eighth, floor. I was eighth in a hundred meters. Yeah, eighth in a hundred meters or something. Like, it's still a fucking massive accomplishment, but the irony of today's mentality is that if you don't win you're not good if you don't win you're shit so I kind of make a joke of myself because I, I don't always win like how people I was like fucking hell mate like you go to Olympia and people still don't think you're good oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like pilt put a vascularity for them <laughs> two three four five good Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, eleven, come on back, twelve, yes, push, thirteen, come on, two more, fourteen, yeah, 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 Oh, it's an ice cream man. That's strong. That's stable. One, two, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Come on, fourteen and again. And fifteen. Good. good, yeah. good. See there, though. You can see how the shoulders sit differently. One flares out nicer than the other. <laughs> Hands clasped, Jay. Yeah, Choice looks nutty. Yeah, that's disgusting. It's quite light, but it's nice. It was nice. Single arm cable. So the reason this is good is because. Again, like I said what I was doing there, I was kind of doing a reverse grip. It's really hard to hold something in a reverse grip and extend the arm. Normally it ends up like twisting on the wrist, so this you can just like rest your palm in that cuff and just push down. Again, a little bit lighter movement, a bit more reps, just trying to concentrate on that like, contraction, squeeze. A bit more bodybuilder. Nice. Sounds going all day. <laughs> Left one was easy. <clears throat> Move over some biceps. Normally start on a uh, stabilized curl, so there's no cheating. So we're going to use this uh, Atlantis station with an EZ curl bar to really smash the shies around the biceps. All right, I'll run over something really quickly because we got a little something I want to do for the AMA. The question that gets asked a lot is how to develop bicep peaks. Now,
nice. Drag it. Will you? Still more. So we're gonna do a um, we're gonna do a dumbbell preach curl now. This is really good because it's really heavy at the bottom. So when you like stretch there, because you're holding that angle, it's gonna feel really heavy there. And then when you get the dumbbell up to here, because it's kind of like vertical and it's above your hand, it does drop off slightly. Jordan's hungry. That means that the diet's working well. He's acclimated to his food. Oh, I don't feel too full either, so it's nice. Yeah, food's digesting well. Nice, Jay, nice. Beautiful. Nice, nice. Every part of it. Feels pretty good. Yeah. I don't get how people are so fucking weak. They get a 60 out and they're too they're not strong enough to put it away. I just I'll get the hundreds out and put them away. What's your problem, people? If you use a weight, if you've got the bollocks to get it out, have the bollocks to put it away. It's simple manners. Honestly. If you don't put shit away that you, you make a mess with, you were brought up wrong. That's just the bottom line. You weren't taught manners. You take a, a, a bowl out of the uh, cupboard and go and make yourself a bowl of cereal. When you finish that cereal, if you leave that shit on the plate on the table, you're just as you're just as fucking petty, okay? Because it's the same shit. So that tells me everything about you and how you live at home. And if you live like that, I don't want your filthy nature in my gym. The fuck out. For people that just think they're too good to put their weights away. I know people that are number one in the world. I know, I know Derek Lunsford. I know fucking, I've met Ronnie Coleman. I know Branch Warren. They all put their weights away. What makes you think you're better than those people? You're like this to them in, in, in this. And yet you still feel disregard and lack of respect, moral and respect to tidy up. Like, I'm no one compared to them, no one. And I would still go out of my way to make a fucking effort. So I just don't get it. If you've got any respect for JP or for me, you wouldn't leave shit out. So that tells me everything about you. So if you're that kind of person, why would I fucking want you here? Why, why, why when I come up to you and say, get the fuck out, you haven't even got nothing, there's no argument. Because it's a lack of respect. So if you can't put your fucking weights away, please don't come here. Honestly, don't bother because you might as well save yourself the hassle of me getting pissed off. No, actually, I won't even get pissed off because there's no need for me to get pissed off. I'll just come up to you and say, get out. And then you've wasted your day. Just don't be, just don't be a bum. It's just like principles. Brush your fucking teeth. Because I bet you've got smelly breath as well if people don't put their weights away. Because I bet you don't brush your fucking teeth. Because if you're that fucking lazy <laughs> in the gym of putting weights away, you're definitely that lazy at fucking home. I bet you don't wear deodorant. Sort it fucking out, all right? Papa J, Papa J, old man Jay's talking right now. Don't be a fucking bum, honestly. Yes. Come on. Squeeze, man. Squeeze. I say I just don't, I don't get it. I've been, I've been a kid in the gym. I was 14 year old. Right, and even that, the first day I was like, okay, if I use something, I put it away. I don't get it. It's like there's a malfunction. I say or it's just time. a damn right on purpose deliberate disrespect. I say it to you all the time, it's just a disrespect for equipment, a disrespect for the gym environment at the end of the day. You know? Why would it's, you why would you want to make it difficult for someone else to I, use something? I just don't get it. It's worse when you got like a leg press or something, it's like if you can load up the leg press, you can take it off, especially one. There's a fucking there's a pin right look all the shit on the side of everything. It's like it takes you two seconds to take a plate off there and put it down there. Do you know what I mean? It's like so easy and it's just like all you gotta do is go like this, like that. That's it. And it's like, no, I can't take my shit off. It's like, you know, I'm, you know what the I'm, problem I'm, too, is? I'm too big. I'm, I'm, you know what the problem I'm conserving is? energy now. You know what I mean? JJ, we live in a time where troll mentality isn't just online anymore. It's in, it's, it's in reality now. 
People would just deliberately not put ventilators. I don't, I, I don't know that that's being used, that Prime. That's a perfect example right there. I'll tell you something, and I, again... 60s, you ain't even got to put the 60s back on the rack. You've just got to roll it under let, it. Let me, let me tell you... That's just, even easier. You can kick that. Let me tell you a little something, guys. I'm, I haven't, I'm not, like, the most successful person in the world. But one thing that take, is very important and takes you a long way is manners and respect. Yeah. Like, anything I've got in this life, anything I've got, is because I've created good relations with people and I've had respect and manners and I haven't shat on anybody. Yeah. So, just, just, just I, I have to do it today, just, because I'm just getting annoyed. Just, just fucking tidy up after yourself. Don't be a, don't, I hate, don't be a tramp. Just don't. It's just not needed. I'm not this, God, so. Me and Jordan open this gym. We don't need to open this gym. We open this gym to give people a place to train. Yeah? Ain't for no other reason. Ain't about money. It's, it's a place to train. It's to help people who do what we love get better at it. Now, if you want to like treat it like it's a dive and not care, just make it private. We'll get rid of it. So look after it or we'll, like a good parent, look after it or we'll take it away. I'm literally left-handed now. Basically. I mean, it feels yeah. like it. The left arm has become too wham. The connection with this arm is so much better. Uh, good. Good. <laughs> good. Same with this. If you want to try and bring... If you want to try and make business at my gym and come and... Our gym, mine and Jordan's. If you want to come here and try and sell stuff to people in here, get the fuck out. There's plenty of space outside, go and do it outside. If I see anybody in here handling anything out, I'll literally grab you by the scruff of the neck, like a fucking cat with his litter, and I'll walk you outside. And I won't let you back in because that's a disrespect, okay? You don't come into my territory and fucking start dishing out substances to other people. This ain't for that. I've got people here, I've got, I've got grown ass women here, I've got young people here, I've got people that are fresh to training, new to training. I've got people that just want to have a good time. Last thing I want and I need in here, is you lot profiting off of here because you bring in fucking anabolics and start selling them. I've been lucky so far, been very fortunate, but I'm going to say it, see any of you do it, don't be surprised if I come up to you like a fucking rhino and I say get the fuck out because I've put the warning out there now. This ain't a place for that, okay? There's plenty of other spaces you do that. Go do that in the local park. Go meet your mate for a coffee. Give him it under the table. Don't fucking do it here. <sighs> I don't have a nice flow with the movement, music then. Something to be said, when you've got your eyes closed in your train, I feel like when yeah, you've got your you eyes, you get a really good... Awesome. <laughs> right, I'm going to move on to some uh, delt now. Delts. Dumbbells a little bit of an angle, just to kind of, uh, how you doing buddy, you right? Alright, go on these, Jay. Thank you. Once I get to a weight that I feel like I can't get the arm wide, I know that I'm kind of going too heavy, so that's why the laterals have been a lot lighter lately. Just try and keep it more on the shoulder rather than the whole upper back. I used to do really heavy laterals with like 40 kilo dumbbells. But to my traps just get worked. Nice, Jay. Good, good, good. Good, Jay. One, two, three, four, five. Feeling it good. I'll let you go.
Feel that burn, man. Feel that burn, come on. Drop it. Oh, I got you. Seven and a half, so we're here. Mm. Five, six, seven, let's go Jay, eight, let's go, nine, again, keep going, give me another five, four, come on back, come on three, two, one and then five partials at least, come on, little ones now, relax yourself, arms to your side, arms to your side, yeah, right here, good, come on, pulse them now, come on, go there, close those eyes, Let's go, keep going. Come on, through the burn. Yeah, yeah. All the way up to the top, all the way up to the top. Come yeah. down slow, all the way up to the top. Come down slow, good. Push out, push out. Yeah, come on, push, push, push. Harder. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Good shit. I'm sitting. Good shit, man. Good sound. Good sound. Now get some blood in there. <laughs> Every week, man, but it's worth it. Oh, oh sorry. Strong. Easy. Come on. Come on! Good. Yeah. Good. Nice. Come on, man. Take it for a ride. Ride to the beat, bro. Show me. Good. There you go. That's good reps. Ooh, shoulder. Yeah. To find your zone. Come on, machine. Good, come on. This your tune on stage when you're killing everybody. Come on. Last one. Good. And again. Good. Nice. Now this is a good song. Okay? This is a real good song. Good. Four. Lovely time to go. Let's go. Five. Six. Come on, man. Good. Eight. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Let's go, bud. do two on the rear because I didn't do it yesterday on back I forgot that's my fault I forgot it's the Humpty dance come on for it now let's go nice yeah oh. squeeze my squeeze oh yeah be nice not to have to train shoulders. <laughs> Job done. Job done. No look. Some veins in that uh, in those delta deltoids now, son.
way different, way different, honestly. That's so different. Job done. Shoulders, arms. Um, I'm going to finish up with three rounds of planks because that's what I've been doing, trying to sort out this midsection. Uh, again, I just hope you enjoyed. Again, the point of these is just to bring you along for what we're doing, to keep you in the loop. Obviously, I've got plans to compete next year, but right now we're still just progressing with the off-season. Um, I've pulled my weight down a little bit, 307 pounds. Um, and all that means I just cut out some of the cheap meals, just tidy up the food a little bit. Got 20 minutes of bike in the morning just to help with everything. Um, and then what I'm trying to do is just try and creep the weight up a little bit more if I can, but try and stay around this condition, which I think is a reasonable condition for the weight I'm at. So should yield a slightly better body than last year. Um, but we'll see, time will tell. You never know with bodybuilding. The main thing is about enjoying it and I'm enjoying it at the minute, so job's good. Go home, eat, play Call of Duty. That's my plan. Appreciate you guys. So make sure you subscribe. Uh, please do. Let's get this shit bumping. And uh, if you want anything with some discounts, check out below, of course. And uh, just again, massive thank you for taking time to watch the video. We do appreciate you, myself, Liam, Jordan, and all of us at Train by JP Shed. So catch you on the next one, guys. Peace and love.